Hello, this is Vampire here to talk about uh, knife fighting. And uh, I have a movie scene for you guys right here. This is from Bad Boys for Life. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and press play for you guys. So he is surrounded by bad guys, and he's in a really, really bad situation, as you can see right here. So there's a gun pointed at his face, and he's surrounded by, I don't know, like four or five guys. You know they're also armed. And uh, here we go. You see the karambit, puts his finger on the ring, and... Takes it out, boom, 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 lightning fast, destroys everybody. And here is a 13-year-old boy's wet dream. <laughs> um, I don't like this scene, this, this uh, Karambit scene. Why? Because to me it's way too far into fantasy. It's far from reality. Uh, and what I really don't like about it to me is, um, this is to me a prime example, prime example of how not to use the karambit. I don't like it because he's relying heavily on the fact that they are going to be stunned right here because he puts his finger right here on the, on the karambit. He should already be shot right at this point. But let's say that the bad guy here is so confident and arrogant that they're not expecting him to attack to attack them when he's in such a bad situation and and the bad guy is in such a powerful position that relies heavily on the bad guy just you know making a big mistake or or underestimating this person you're relying heavily on the other person to to mess up i don't like that Right, I'd, I'd rather be doing a lot of things to to make my success rather than rely on someone's mistake. And and so he would to me he should have been shot right here. And then look, he could still be shot. And then he okay he made the cut, but how come he's not shot there either? So he could have already been shot. There's there's three times right there where he could have been shot. So to me it's luck, luck, luck. Um, so I, I don't like that. And plus, why, why was he able to get this off before the other guy could shoot him? Is speed, right? The answer is plain and simple speed. How do you know you're faster than the other guy? How do you know your reflexes are better? You know, the, the, the guy already has the gun pointed at your head. So right there to me, you're playing the speed game. And that's another thing I don't like. I, I told you guys that in a real-life self-defense situation, you don't play the speed game. So, yeah. The, the, and then we watch the rest. Boom, boom, boom. Everyone goes down with one perfect hit each. That's, that's not how real life goes. And then, yeah. Um, okay, so correction. Let me make it more, more uh, uh, clear. He took out two guys with one perfect hit each. So let's start again right here. Boom. Okay, so he cuts the guy that had the gun pointed at him. He, he cuts that guy's throat. He takes out this guy right here. One hit, one hit. And then this, this is a different guy, right? Different guy took multiple hits. And then this is the last guy, so he takes multiple hits. And was there uh, one where he made a guy shoot shoot the other guy? Could have been, but anyway, yeah, it's it's uh, to me super ridiculous. So not not a big fan. Um, so I, I already said don't play the speed game. So let's go to the next one. Here's the next one. Um, yeah, I've I already talked about this one. So let's go. Oh oh, so it's a karamit versus a, a normal knife, right? Straight knife. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, look at that. Whoa, he almost he almost took out the... And he's going, damn it, get out of my way. And the guy, the guy continues his attack. And look at that ferocious exchange. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, man, does he look powerful or what? And yeah. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> 
this is to me also another reason, um, a, another perfect example how not to to do self defense and how not to I don't know knife combat. Um, and let me go into why. Okay, actually before this, yeah, right here. Okay, knife on knife, right here. And you know it could happen. It could happen. They happen to have a knife. They were gonna. Um, they were an assassin or something. And then you happen to have a knife for some reason. Wait, why is an assassin after you? But what if, for whatever reason, an assassin's after you, and uh, you happen to have a knife, and they were trying to assassinate you, and they messed up. How come? How come they're still there? They should run away. They messed up. They should run away, and they should try again, at a better time. But let's say for some reason in broad daylight where everybody's there where all the witnesses <laughs> this dude decides you know what I don't care if people can identify me I don't live around here so I'm okay right and they're gonna continue this attack even though the other guys already ready and the other guys willing to fight back right here this 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 is a knife fight they are boxing with each other essentially they are exchanging shots all right and what you saw there you know it's choreography so everything's clean but in real life if i have a knife you have a knife and we knife box because that that's what this is this is knife boxing guys okay if you do knife boxing then just like in normal boxing if it doesn't even have to be knife boxing let's say you and i we do boxing I put on gloves, you put on gloves, and we box. We're both going to get hit. We're both going to exchange shots. It's just a matter of who gets the better shot in and, you know, who's able to um, glance off or, or minimize the other person's hits. But you will get hit, right? So replace that with knives. It's going to be you are going to get cut. And is there such thing as a worse cut and a minimal cut yeah absolutely there is but even a minimal cut can be pretty devastating <laughs> and that's the difference between bare hands and a weapon and and that's why throughout history we've used weapons because they're more effective than empty hand period that that's that's the single truth so you're gonna box with somebody with a knife you're both going to get messed up. So this right here, to me, that's you. You don't do it. You you really want to avoid this situation. That's it. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Okay. Um, now let's go to the one. This one right here. This is unlike the first two, which were movies. This is real. Okay. Here we go. He so the guy in the middle. I believe that's his car. He has a knife. He's up against two guys. Oh, look at that. He had, did he drop his knife there? He could have. Okay, so let me go. Okay, so let me go right here. Oh, so this is in South Africa. So look at this. Two guys. That guy comes up to him. And because he swings the knife around, the other guy goes away. And look, the other guy like approached him real quick. And step back, and looks like the other guy's about to. Um, the guy in the white and navy, the attacker on the right side, looks like he's about to engage again. Oh, but so in that quick exchange that we just saw, so let me rewind this real quick. Okay, so the guy in the right comes at him first, from what we see right here. Look, he comes at him right. And so the, the defender, the defender goes one, two, at least two attacks right there. I don't think they made contact. They, it could have. It could have. And, and the guy in the right that, that attacked may not have felt it yet because, you know, that, it's pretty quick. So, but the fact that he's still trying to attack the guy, you know, and, and he's still, so the guy in the right, if he's cut, you know, I don't know. I don't know. He he doesn't seem to feel it, the guy in there, if he's cut, right? So, and I'm not seeing any blood that I could, I know it's not, a, it's grainy, but 
Uh, it's not a good video, so it's not clear, but I don't think he's cut. I think we would see some drops on the ground or something, but so I don't think he's cut at all. So those one, two attack that the guy in the middle, the defender did, had they missed completely, all right? But look, it doesn't matter that, and then he, you know, he ends up on the ground like he messed up there, but they both took off and he was successful. This to me is exactly what you want to be doing, which is you take out your blade and it doesn't even, it's not about making contact, guys. It's about, can you seem like a bad idea to the criminals? So they're trying to attack you and they go, oh, this is not a good target. This is not a good prey. That's all you need. All right, so this guy convinced them and he didn't kill nobody, not from what we can tell. He didn't have to use lethal, nothing, you know. I mean, he yes, he slashed, he, he slashed a few times, you know, but I don't think it even, it, I don't think it, you know, I don't think it did any damage once again. So it's not about how much damage you do. It's about survival, okay. Why risk yourself and do this? Okay, and you might go, well, isn't that what he did? No, it's actually different. This to me is self-defense. This is fighting. This is, you're, you're going up at it, all right? Now, I have to say that he, he, this guy was willing to fight with the knife. And this guy, um, he, he definitely did over-engage, in my opinion. And that's when he dropped, I, when he ended up on the ground. Like, I, I don't know if he dropped the knife, but he ended up on the ground. I don't think that was necessary. I don't, if he, if he just kept doing what he did, if you come to me, I'm going to, I'm going to cut you and you, you don't even have to cut them, but you have to make it look convincing. And then you, you, you keep doing that, you know, to, to protect yourself. And then you don't have to engage this much is what I'm trying to say. This is fully committed, and that's where you're also going to get, you know, to do this, you look at a professional boxer. There's not a professional boxer that is not ready to get hit. So if you're going to be a professional knife fighter, you better be ready to get cut because that's what it takes. Okay. Here, you don't have to commit that much. In fact, it, it would be stupid to commit that much. And, and when he did, that, that's to me, that is to me is when he fell down. He overcommitted. Okay. And then this right here where you think basically you think you're a superhero and you think you could take out five guys that are armed and there's a gun right in your face. This, this to me is so far in a fantasy that I, I don't even know what to say right here. Okay. So this to me is is the way to go which is it's about survival it's not about how much you destroy the opponent how fast you are how cool you look it, it's it's none of those things so uh yeah uh i hope this helps that's it for now thank you for viewing and take care folks